Well, in 2003, uh, we established Original Solutions simply as a consequence of another company closing down and my own personal experience and I suppose my own personal sense of what the Irish market wanted, which I believed was a company with a very Irish identity, particularly one that could deliver both on a consultative level and also the IT services that you would normally expect from the multinationals. And I also had a belief that um, the Irish services business was something that could still be internationalised. I, I think we kind of gave up on Ireland as a services location once our salaries started to increase, but that ignores the fact that most people buy Irish for lots of other reasons uh, that have nothing to do with the cost per se. They buy them for the the value of our non-conformity, if you like, the fact that we don't uh, just take the spec and, and code accordingly, um, whether that's a, a mandate for process change or IT change, it's, it's to do with challenging the status quo and I think that capability is something that companies buy. And so it came to pass uh, in as much as between 2003 and 2007 we grew quite substantially. Uh, our turnover in 2007 was just short of 9 million. And um, we started to, if you will, explore where we could go to next. Um, and it was in that context that I started to look for the kind of bigger relationship or bigger global uh, presence that could take us into the world of global delivery from Ireland. Um, and that then transpired over the course of 2007 into 2008 in interest from a few companies, um, the most substantive and the one that I suppose ticked most boxes was the one that came from Perot Systems and we sold uh, original solutions to Perot Systems in May of last year, 2008. I think that the key lesson overall is that the affordability of your ambitions is something that needs to be uh, minded from day one. Um, the, the reality, I suppose, in financial terms is uh, cash flow is much more important than profitability. But clearly, the two are intertwined. If you're not profitable, you can't generate cash. If you can't generate cash, you can't invest. And unfortunately, in the services domain, that's more prevalent, uh, more regularly, uh, than in a product context where you've got, if, you, if you're doing it right, the opportunity to multiply the amount of profit that you can make from a single instance. Services cost will always go together with services revenue. So the difficulty there is how to achieve what you believe you need to achieve and not have the same appeal to an external investor. So the, the reality, I suppose, overall is that services is a difficult business without scale. And scale is the critical differentiator quite often when it comes to the buyer. That's why we learned throughout the course of our um, five years as an indigenous company that the ability to find the buyer who is prepared to risk effectively their decision based on how much relationship you could build with them was a critical second point. I think relationship management, again, is something that is, uh, it's an innate component of the Irish personality. I think that we have an ability to want to please and to please in a more natural way. Non-conformist, I think, again, is the, is the critical thing. A third lesson, without a doubt, is the uh, ability and the instinct to know that you need to have great people around you, certainly people who are better than you. Um, doesn't mean that they're going to be um, more rounded than you or be a threat to you, but what you've got to try and constitute is a team of many parts. And um, I was lucky along the way to be able to pull in experience and expertise in different levels from different people. And we were able to create a very a formidable team um, which would have been just as good in a multinational context. So we had the behaviours of a big company, but also the agility, the relationship style, and, and just the pure crack of being a small company. Well, I, I would think that uh, I'm an inherently optimistic individual anyway, but I, I think that the, the Irish entrepreneur is a class apart uh, when it comes to sustainable company foundation. And, and I think the key point there is that what we have to see more of is the, um, the marriage, if you like, of an experienced uh, mentor or indeed an experienced practice 
to go with the ideas and the enthusiasm and the uniqueness of new ideas. And, and, I, and I think that the, in that context, one of the things I want to see Ireland, Inc. invest in is that ability to find those partners, the, the process of, of complementary skills, of a been there, done that person with the uh, energy and new ideas of a, of a startup. I think that that is the future for Ireland. The second part to it is increasingly and obviously our future is going to be European based. And I think that we've got to quickly resolve any issues we have about being seen to be a key component of Europe. And we also have to accept that it's our services capability that's got to distinguish us. If we can instill those senses into the government and into the private sector, I think that Ireland will become the services hub for Europe and will be used in that vein by global companies to front up global delivery, which is effectively what we're trying to do now as a part of Pro Systems, establish Ireland as the epicentre of European service management.